So the first dragon I made on Saturna here, uh, it's just kind of the biggest one I got going right now, uh, and it, it, it's been moved around and repaired a couple of times, and it's just in storage right now. So okay. hop on in. The lighting's not great, but you'll get an idea of the, all the little brass critters and stuff that I incorporated to it. Oh my god, whoa! So yeah, sorry I don't have a good light. That's here. fine, no, my phone can handle that. Yeah. That's beautiful. Whew. Yeah, so I had a lot of fun with him. Um, you see along the spine, there's a little, like, a little elephants, and a little family of ducks up the front. <laughs> nice. And, uh, it's just, I have a lot of fun with it. It's kind of a big puzzle, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Trying to see what fits where. and mm -hmm. I guess once you weld it on, it's pretty much there, or you can uh, file it down, well, and or not file it down. Yes but... and no, I mean, it, it's not welding, actually. It's soldering. Soldering, sorry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And... Uh, like building something like this is actually quite a trick, particularly with the different gauges of metals. They conduct the heat differently. Right. So, and clamping at a certain point gets impossible. So um, it's this dragon actually, the, the, I built this head section and then was working on one little piece, overheated it, and I think I lost like a dozen pieces again. And then because of the assembly order, it was actually almost... It, I, yeah, it was more difficult to put back together than the original assembly, almost, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and so this one, I actually, when I finished it, I took it, I actually did take it apart um, to transport it to town to uh, this place called U Blast It. And I okay. sandblasted it to give it an even thing because it had all these different patinas and shines with all the different brasses of and course. stuff like that. And it sort of gave it a. a, a conformed uh, look, you know, an even scale, yeah. so to speak. Um, I don't know. It just brought it together for me anyways. And some people didn't like that because they're like, ooh, it's shiny, right? Um, um, I've been tempted to really oxidize and let it green. Yeah, yeah. Because I can spray stuff and really get the green thing going on. Because um, that might look cool, too. And I've done that with a few things. Um, we have a, we have a little hummingbird that's been fully patinaed. Yeah. And whether or not, I, I'm not sure if you did no, that. I probably spr spritzed the ice. I have a chemical stuff that I just spritz on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks good. A lot of people uh, like that patinaed look, you know. it's. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's one of the best things about copper is, you know, it gets that patina. It changes yeah. over time and it, you know, yeah. uh, adds to it for sure. So mm -hmm. that's a beautiful piece, man. Yeah. How long did this take? On and I don't off. record time, right? Yeah. Uh, I, um, I mean, it was, uh, this was over the course of a couple months, essentially. S Saturna time, you know. It's yeah. Uh, yeah. But you know, when I get into it, sometimes you know, where it's like be work on it all day, sometimes. You yeah. Know? So, and then some days it's waiting for the or you know scratching your head over the right piece. Yeah, of course. Kind of thing, right? Um, and then sometimes it's just I got to deal with what I got in front of me, um, and can't you know just help go to the scrapyard or yeah, yeah. hunt around at a thrift store conveniently, right? So yeah, of course. Whatever I got kicking around. Did you ever do puzzles growing up or? A little bit. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the sort of fascination with, uh, you know, creating out of all these sort of disposed materials and? Um, well, I, I initially got into it on Demonow and yeah. my partner did a lot of wire work. Okay. And she asked me to help her with some of their, um, a friend of hers had like set patterns of these dragonflies and different things that they sold at the market. Yeah. And so she wanted a hand and turned out, I like, just like, this is easy. And, and then I was like, started bending wire and sure enough, I actually made a dragon, like, like nothing to it. My yeah, yeah. Was like, what the heck? <laughs> We've been doing this for ages and we haven't done that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and, uh, well, she was a very, and is a very talented artist herself. Yeah. Um, a painter if anything like really fantastic uh with watercolor realism yeah and uh fantasy art really really talented right on um so i i just got into it and then I, I can't even remember how i clued into it but i started incorporating some of the other copper junk you know i could get my hands on whether it be pipe or yeah. old pots or whatever it be and then and the brass is, is all in, like natural into it. And yeah. They're all like, um, they 
like each other, you know? It's like, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. And, and it works. I like the tonal differences, particularly now, uh, now working with the, the flatware, which is more of a recent thing. Yeah. Um, you get, like, the tricolor effect, where you get the the copper, gold, and silver tones. And it kind of, I like, I like the look of it. Yeah, um, it's beautiful. How they work.